Hey everyone, this is Rami Raiden, and in this video, I'm sharing with you how to create a custom email for your domain using Google Workspace. Uh, for example, if I have um, this, I have this uh, email, Digital Edge Academy, at this domain I mean, and I need to create an email for it. For example, support or info at digitaledgeacademy.net. So to do that, I have the domain here with GoDaddy, right? So I have the domain, uh, I bought, I purchased the domain here with GoDaddy. And now uh, I have the option to buy email uh, service from here, right? Using Microsoft uh, 365 email essential, but I prefer to work with Google workspace. So I'm going to open new tab and search for Google workspace and here uh, start to create uh, the email service here. So try at no cost and here the business name, uh, like my business name, the business or Digital Edge Academy. Okay. And for now, just for me, and the next name can use my personal email here. Okay, here they ask you, how do you want to set up your Google Workspace with all your company, uh, with uh, a yourcompany.com address? or with the .me address, so I'm selecting here with the mycompany.com address, which is the custom domain. And here they ask you, does your business have a domain? So yes, as I already purchased the domain. So I have one I can use. And here I need to put the domain. So I go to my domain here, copy, and then go here, paste it, make sure it's correct. Press next. So use this domain to set up the account, say yes. And now you got to choose the username. So for me, um, I'm going to choose support at digitaledgeacademy.net. And I choose the password. I'm not gonna tell you the password. All right, and here I'm not a robot, and agree. It take a few seconds. Here, Chrome, uh, Safari is asking me if I want to save the password. I don't mind. So here is the trick. There is uh, a different packages on uh, on Google. So if you go to Google Work Workspace uh, prices pricing you will see the basic plan is $6 a month. But when you go here, it won't let you uh, select it. So unless you press here, change payment plan. Also, it can, you can uh, pay annual, right? But you cannot to change to the $6 plan. But what I'm gonna do, I'm going to try for 14 days, right? Then after that, I will downgrade to this uh, plan. All right. Or if you want to start from here, actually, you can go to this page right away and start from here. But because I already started uh, from the main uh, page, that's fine. I will change. I will change the plan. So here, business name, my name, and the address. All right. You put your Billing, uh, chain, pay with PayPal. So here I need to do, you can pay with a credit card, but I prefer to use PayPal with all my Google accounts. So after you choose the payment, agree, all right. Here they ask you again to upgrade to this uh, business add-ons. 
and uh, for now I press skip and this is the welcome to your new account agreement And this is where we access the admin console. Everything is here in this admin console. First step, we need to activate the Gmail for, for the new email. So it's going to be a Gmail account and the Gmail, it's not at the Gmail, it's a Gmail account. So you can use the Gmail uh, uh, website or app to log in with this email. So you sign up, uh, sign in to activate. Yeah. pop-up window all right here you need to connect with GoDaddy to add the records so you can configure it to work uh, with the Gmail so we need to connect the domain and make authorization through GoDaddy in order for this to work this is a very important step and without it you cannot have a custom email uh, with uh, Google workspace Okay, now it's connecting with GoDaddy to uh, to activate the Gmail. So it's making verifying that your own digital or that you own digitaledgeacademy.net and updating email setting with GoDaddy.com. You can also close page and return later after five minutes. So Perfect. So when you refresh this page after uh, four minutes, it will uh, show you here that the Gmail is activated for your domain. So you can add more users here, but for now I don't have, uh, I don't need to add more users. So I'll do skip for now. And here it is. So here it gives you more recommendation on what to do. You have this uh, cool amazing Google workspace. Uh, for now, I just want to go right away to the Gmail. All right. So this is here. You go to your apps and here you have the calendar, cloud search, documents, drive, all everything with Google. But I'm going to focus on Gmail now and log in to my email, my new email. Perfect. So this is my new email ready to use with my domain. So if you look here to, so this is from Gmail, a welcome email, and it's to my name, Rami Raiden, at support at digitaledgeacademy.net. So I have the domain ready, All right? Uh, one more thing now I still need to do is to change my subscription from the plan that they uh, want me uh, from the, I want to change to the $6 plan. I need to go to the admin console over here. Continue. And here I want to change it to this one. All right. And from here, you can go and manage your billing. All right. Manage the billing or manage subscription. So yeah, this is the, the Google workspace. You can upgrade a subscription here or add a subscription or you can press here to upgrade, upgrade or downgrade. Okay, so again, from uh, Google Admin Consult, you go to your account and subscription and you go here. You see here, this is the plan that I want. Business started, but they gave me this one. All right, so now I need to downgrade and then go next so if you go monthly with the six dollar plan if you pay monthly it's going to charge you seven dollar and twenty cents if you pay yearly it will charge you six dollar per month so it's you do it uh, as one payment 
right now I'm doing this right done now my plan is the Google workspace business started that was all about it if you have any question go ahead and comment uh, below thank you for watching